Welcome back to Adobe InDesign CC. In this tutorial we're going to discover the power of alignment and grouping. So in this uh, image here uh, in design I'm working with I have these uh, three images here and the first thing I want you to know is if I click and drag I seem to be dragging it okay but then every once in a while I drag the image inside the frame which does sometimes happen and I don't want to do that. There is a way to kind of lock these down so if you go under the view menu, go down to extras, and then go down to hide content grabber, because that's what it is, it's the content grabber on the inside. So now as I click and drag these, these will always move fine. Now if I double click, I have access to the image inside the frame, so I can still move it around. But it just makes it a little bit easier. And by default, honestly, I don't know why this isn't set up this way. <laughs> it just makes more sense to me, but anyways. Uh, what I want to show you now is that as you move these objects, you actually have smart guides turned on. Now it's a little bit hard to see with this background, so I'm going to go to my layers and turn off the background um, image here and click on these. And as I move them around, you'll see the smart guides appear, and it is kind of hard to see still. Let's turn that back on, unlock it, and click on it. And I'm just going to pick a, I don't know, some sort of other color like a gray or something that'll stand out hopefully a little bit better. Let's see now. That's a little easier to see. So uh, hopefully you can see this. You'll have smart guides that basically allow you to align. So as I drag this from left to right, as it gets close to the image, you'll see a middle line and a couple of lines in the side there. Um, then I can grab this one and do the same thing. And if I move up or down, uh, at some point what will happen is not only will it be aligned, but there'll be these little characters right on the, the corners here that basically tell me, hey, this is equal distance from the other image. So right now these are all three aligned. Um, but instead of doing it that way, you can use uh, the align panel. So I'm going to do it that way. I'm just moving around here. And that's under the window menu. Go down to object and layout, and there's the align panel. The align panel allows you to do lots of different things. So I can click on one of these and hold the shift key and select all three. And basically if I want to align all objects to the left side, I click that and poof, they're all aligned that way. Um, if I want to distribute the objects evenly, you can, you can click here, um, but that really doesn't distribute them, spread them out very much. So what you need to do is actually have some space. So I'm going to click on this one, or actually click out, click on this one and just hold the shift key to drag out on this one hold the shift key and drag out so I'll click on this one hold the shift key and hold the shift key and instead of di distribute objects I'm going to distribute spacing and click on this and it will basically distribute um, even spacing you know by doing that so let me do that again uh, drag that out this one a little bit further and then this one maybe out to here shift click shift click and then click on this guy and you can see it evenly distributes it I accidentally had uh, use spacing on, which is why it changed so drastically. When you have this selected, um, you can reduce the spacing or adjust it and then click redistribute and they'll actually change in terms of the measurement. So if I want to increase or decrease, I can do that. So if I want to increase a little bit and redistribute, you got it there. If I want to decrease a little bit, click that. As long as I have that check and all three selected, that they'll work together. Uh, another thing I want to share with you is say you have them distributed, but um, or actually it doesn't even matter if you have them distributed, but you have one over here, one there, and maybe one here. Uh, if we do the shift key in all three of these, the and we do a line left or even a line right, what will happen is it'll line the farthest right image here or the farthest left image, which which would be this image here. Um, if we did align, align horizontal centers, we align from those handles. But if we align the top edges, it'd be from the very top image here. So uh, what if we want to align to something else? So instead of the left here, what if I want to align to this guy or this guy? Well, uh, what I can do after I have them all selected is simply control click on the, this image here and then do the align left. And now they'll all be distributed according to that one image here. You can tell it has this extra green uh, sort of line around it. And again, that's holding a control key or the command key on the Mac to do that. 
Uh, once you have these distributed the way you want, you may want to group them because then you can move them pretty easily. So I'm going to click on one, then hold the shift key and click on the other two, like so. And then go to the object menu and go down to group. Now it is group, and you could tell because of the dashed line around it. So I can move this as one whole unit and it will uh, align better in terms of you know where I want to place it and everything. Uh, with this, which is all the only the only trick with grouping is that you have to have them all in the same layer or to automatically put them all in the same layer. So you have to understand that. Um, if you want to you know redistribute them, you can still do that. Uh, let's see if we redistribute. No, it won't do it with the grouping. That's right. So in order to redistribute these guys, you would have to go to object and choose ungroup. Click on one, hold the shift key, click on the other two. And now you can do the redistribute and see, you know, the spacing here. I'm just thinking it might be better to have a little bit different spacing on the group. And now they're, they're all selected, go to object and choose group again. And now let's see how that looks. That's better. Pretty much fits right in there in that space now. So uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial on using the align panel, which is very powerful. Again, that's under the window, window object layout, and then align. And then, um, of course, you know, object group and ungroup here. And then, of course, to lock down your image so you don't accidentally move it, go to the view menu, extras, and choose that one extra. It's this hide content grabber, which right now it's a show content grabber because I've already hidden it. So until next time, see you soon in Adobe InDesign CC. Cheers.